No, man, we don't. We can't punish the police. Oh, we should punish that the police. That is what they are trying to do. Listen, no, no. Police is not Babylon. Babylon is a live. All right. You understand me, right. man? You get right. this in okay. your head, you know. So yes. when you take by a Jamaican city and you hear me burn Babylon, me a burn Babylon and I want you to help me burn Babylon. This live that have you have to be worse. Gerald leave Bogle. Bogle is my cousin. The same day when I went down there, you know, to 79 Duke Street, you know. It's Bogle I meet up on there, you know. Gerald leave, you know. Bogle where them said be the man kill. Bogle is my cousin. Me and me, you know. And my mother and family and them people. Them come from 51 Maya Street. That's a big guy. Granny used to tell me all the time. Sparks when feet and preparation come by. The road been right here all this time. But you gotta look with more than your eyes. And the small axe Jesse Royal representing for I just star mindset. Rich forever. Blessed love, pleasant good evening or good afternoon. Warm welcome mindset program. I just time your host and I want to greet the item officially in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I the first, Empress Menin the first, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I Ja, Rastafari. Warm welcome beautiful viewers and subscribers one more day above ground as you know life is our ultimate position not no greater than that no matter what go on zane so we're giving thanks um would i love the item please push that like button as the item forward in push that like button that is important um please subscribe if you haven't done so zane today we have a um we have a lovely show, lovely program lined up for the item. Zane, um, our special guest today is a past police officer of um, the Jamaica um, JCF. Zane, yeah. So, he's also um, the... I think the blogger of um, the young Jamaica young people police. I don't know if may I get that right, Zane. But anyway, we are going to introduce the bridge into the mindset program. Blessed love, honorable family. Yeah, man. Respect, man. I just I just start. Yes, I. Manners and yeah, respect. Man, give thanks, man. Every time, man. And nothing but love, my brother. Yeah, man, I'm all love and strength, man, every time. Sure. Great for you have the sure. hype on the platform here, my brother. Give thanks for yes, taking man. the time. Sure. Yeah, man, you know, knowledge is power, Rasta. Knowledge keep to yourself and you're not part of the others, you know. It's, it's, not, no, it's not knowledge. True. You know, you're just being selfish. So, you know, each one teach one. Yes, I. That is the reality. Each one teach one, my lord. Yeah, man, give thanks. Uh, Yes, sir. Sure. All right. Um, talk to me, cause the 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 the, the I have a channel, um, on the YouTube. Talk to me about that first before we even go into anything. Still, you know, so people can yes, man. people can go and subscribe, um, to the I channel. Okay. Yeah, man. The the Jamaica Young Police channel. Oh, that channel came by, you know, you know um. It was, I was in Washington, D.C. And as a former police officer, a detective, you know, working at Unsbeer. You know, Unsbeer are one crime infested area. The majority of people them, in an Unsbeer area, they know me as, you know, Porter. You know, some people, them, some people, you know, know them call me the big red, red one. As me, you know, me and a brother named Bobby, Bobby Williams was part of Bobby Reds. Good police, brave. So, uh, when the government of Jamaica first, after um, the extrad uh, extradition of Christopher Dudusco to America, you know, see the attack on the police force and the empowerment of the criminals in Jamaica, 
I say, but Jamaica going backwards. There's no way in the world where you know you pay reparation to criminals. So you know we see the government of Jamaica, you know, pay reparation to the people them actively get and you know um, based on the incursion and and at the end at the end of the the inquiry, you know this man from Barbados is the security forces in blame. So based on all of those analysis, I said no man. We are go back there. These people are hell bent on destroying Jamaican people. You understand? And being someone who's from the ghetto and know how life in the ghetto is, you know that the ghetto people, you know, look up to people up there for guidance, you know. So when the people them up there you know are empowered, you say, yes, this is the way, you know, you're a criminal who put you up on a pedestal. And when the police come and the security force come, we are gonna blame them and we are gonna exonerate you and we give you money and them things. You're not empowering the youth them now for better themselves. And then now police them now want to leave the police force in jobs, in which I the channel was deliberately set up for, for the for the young police them to leave Jamaica and leave the police force and better themselves. Because being a police in Jamaica, you know. You just one little, a little step above the poor people. Them, you know? And See. when you're a police at Jamaica, you get paid the 25th and you broke the 25th. I'll tell you that. All right. All right. So that's that's how they start the channel. All right now. Um, yes, man. For me, the young police that um, migrate from Jamaica and make themselves um, better, better men and better women. Because See. I've been, since I have migrated and everything from Jamaica, my life has been 10,000% better. Migrate um, from Jamaica to, um, to America. And I, you know, in America, I joined the military and the rest is history. It was the best thing I've ever done. All right, but all right. So, yeah, yeah, speed it up too much. You have got too fast. <laughs> See? You have got too fast. Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. Mm. See? Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit. Uh, you, you 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 tell me how you you, you start the channel, Zin, and yeah, that we give thanks. That is um yeah man, that is sufficient, major. So here may I ask the I know, Zin, why yeah. why did why what made you join the police force at the time when you joined the police force in a Jamaica? All right, you know I, um. From I was four four years old, I am from Jonestown, you know, born and raised you know, in Jonestown. From I was four, I always there was this detective, you know, that worked at Admiral Town. A man named called Tom Levine. Bad, 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 bad police. Was a detective. What was the police doing? You know, back then, I was on a chaparita and I'm always in you know, a and I'm always pristine. You understand? And not only um, and the man was fearless, you know. All of the road boy them in a free them, you know. He my lone drive, you know. And and the women them love him. You know, even even some of my bad man them love him because them same fear. And he was a kind of detective, you know, a man I get trouble. He was come and talk to the, the mother and tell him, you know, tell him to come my police station or if him don't come in time and he meet up on him thing there. Is a total different story. And this man was able to maintain crime in a Jonestown, Craigtown, all around. That was before you have any Ling or Trinity and him. And I say, that's what the man would have liked to be like, you know, Tom Levine. Boss is still doing it. When he come out of him vehicle and him thing, and you know, he might have shake him right hand with him chaparita for sure, you know, him jewelry and but him bossy and him clean and well spoken, soft spoken man and criminal it fear him. And all you say, what I like to be a police like him. You know? Although I have police in my family too, you know. Yeah, See. So and, you know, so he was the man that, you know, me was my idol. He said, yes, I want to be a police officer. And he was very he was a fear police officer and fearless too, you know. So that's all. That's that's all my inclination as a young youth. Besides, yes, I want to be a police officer, and the rest is history. 
nothing else. So when I was in high school, you know, I used to attend St. Mary's College in Abbott Rock, St. Catherine. That's the same school that um, Boot Stewart used to attend. Boots, yeah, you understand? And when I was in ter- um, going in food farm, you know, you know, I have an uncle, him, him, gunman killed him years ago, and I told him, he was a police, you know, I told him that um, I'm ready to join the police force. At the time, I was 16 and some months, you know, my father um, t- um, took me to him and, you know, it's, um, sent me down to Duke Street um, in August 1986. And I know this is the first that people is going to know this. Gerald Lee for Bogle, Bogle is my cousin. The same day when I went down there, you know, to 79 Duke Street, you know, it's Bogle, I meet up on there, you know, Gerald Levy, you know, Bogle where them said, be the man killed. Bogle is my cousin, me and me, you know, and my mother, family and them, you know. They come from 51 Meyer Street, you know, it's a big yard, you know, Jonestown. So I saw Bogle there and we did the test. It was me, Bogle and a girl named, a girl from Waterford. Her last name is Brown. But she didn't she didn't pass the the girl didn't pass the interview. And Bogle didn't come for the interview. So when I saw Bogle after that, when I did the interview in August 1986, I said, Bogle said that's you know I've been an informer and everything. I told him that's fine, you know, that's the road that I'm gonna track. You understand? So Bogle, if Bogle had follow, follow up, um, you know, maybe his life would be totally different and he would be still still here, you know. Because 1986, you know, Bogle, 1986, August. But he wouldn't be that, the he, police test. He wouldn't be a Bogle hmm? still. Well, he would still, still be a police. I would, you know, Bogle wouldn't be 60 yet. I, mean, I am at 68. I'm still in my early 50s. You know, Bogle is just, Bogle just three years old. I mean, so Bogle is um, Bogle far from being 60. He would have far from being 60 now. So if Bogle did, if Bogle had follow up, you know, with the interview, you understand? You know, he, he would be a police officer. He can have everything, he wouldn't feel the medical or anything like that. And I know that most Jamaican people, at first they must say hear this. So Bogle had did, well, I heard somebody had told me that Motty Perkins had mentioned it and said that he had a cousin. But I never, I never came out and the only person knew, knew about it, apart from Bogle, Willie Agar knew, uh, Bogle told him, and uh, Bobby, Bobby Williams, that's a police who I used to work for years named Bobby Rex. You understand? So Bogle had the chance to become a police officer, pass the test. Both of us passed it in August 1986. Just by coincidence, both of us meet up there at 79 Duke Street, Kingston. He passed the test, man just did not turn up for, for the interview. Because when he went back to jungle and told them, you know, people discourage him. You understand? So even when I even when I leave jungle in 1987, I went to training school, he was still up by up by tank. You know. And the rest is history. See, the first time, the first that was the first time in my life me I graduated, and you know, any higher institution. So that's why me, the police force itself, it's very very important to me. I still have this feel to um, to the police force because it has imparted so much, so many good values. You have good people and you have bad people. Why well, can't tell you this? You know. Working in the police force, whether or not you, whether or not you, uh, you know, the, your viewers want to believe it, it's just the same way like how you have the criminal gangs outside in other community. It's the same way you have the criminal gangs in the police force, you know, and those people they are more popular than the honest police. You know. I am telling you that, you know, I say criminal police, me have have for police or rob people, them coke and all of them things. But I, I am the kind of police now. I am totally against police robbing anyone. You are police, you're supposed to represent law and order. Nothing I hate so like a thief in police. I don't like them. 
Because they are the one that destroy the trust of the people. You understand? You know, police police supposed to uphold the law. That's the job of the police. And the people supposed to respect and love the police. So why why you would have teeth in police and killer police and all that? Why 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 the why the police become um so corrupt why 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 that corruption is in there well some of them make excuses i am going to all right i am going to tell you this if you as i am the kind of guy who i am not afraid of anyone i work with the like stuff ox when ox get when art uh, I'm going to digress a little bit. I'm going to just give you a little snaps about corrupt police. Hard-working police, but them corrupt. Eh? You understand? So, I don't know if you know about Ox, then them call him one a day. You know, when Ox get... Um, Ox, you know, you see, the corruption is rife in our police. You know? So, Ox, he used to be a detective. And he was at special anti-crime. That's how we call acid. And the thing is that now with Ox, um, he had collected a check in bribery. Only like idiot police do that. I don't support them thing then. Only like idiot police do that and them thing. A collect a man commit commit himself and you're gonna lock him up and based on the conversation you have with both with the man. The man decides to give a check and you as a full full police. Tell the man for ride cash. And you go cash to check. So you go so you know, went to a wholesale where he, he knew the people and them changed the check. And the man reported him. At the time, you know, Macmillan was commissioner of police and Ellen, Owen Ellington was Macmillan, you know, two IC. And that's how them should have, the reason why they didn't charge Ox criminally for that thing you know, is because of connection where the person who that he took the um gave him the check reported him and they investigate but they didn't charge him because the man did not give a statement so they put him back in uniform he's a very hard working police you know so they send him to portland shortly after that he came to Hunsby. when he came to Hunsby, he was working the first for two officer he was given to work was me and bobby good police though i tell it you know when i say good police in terms of fighting crime if you have a group of men 12 men standing Ox can tell you which three man in our group have gone. I don't know where him get that um that intuition from I had that gift, but he's that gifted. So, you know, we are working until one time you know, the man the man said to me, say, he had made a suggestion, you know, that we did something. I mean, I said, him, say, no, the man I said, man, this is where he's saying you know, you feel the bad police. And you know, you know, and you don't want to make money. You're going to be poor, you know. How oh, you think, how oh, you think Leng and them man, they make money? You think Leng just get rid of such those things? Oh, holy but people, they man, they shake down, you know. That's me tell him, say, look here. I am not that kind of guy, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I say, me come from a ghetto. I say, you come from a ghetto to anything, but I, my mindset is totally different. I don't believe in police robbing people and shake them up. If somebody has commit a crime and break the law, you as the police are supposed to arrest them. And you're not supposed to shake them down and them thing. That's wrong. Because the thing is that now, it's when you do that, the same person is going to tell everyone that you are thief in police. And guess what? Whenever you want people in confrontation and say you are thief in police, it doesn't matter how you retaliate and them thing. They say you have a thing on your conscience. Your conscience is going to remind you, yes, you are a thief. Oh, you have to feel about that, and even your children them fear them say your father. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, saying on, from that, he never say anything to me again. And a lot of police after that even, um, you know, try to get me involved in a thief. In. Like in a 19, 1994. So all years the police chief, now work on a special squad. 1994, a police officer. Call me in my house. My house was in the Perkman team. Brave police, you know. Gunman didn't even shot him with me um, in Riverton. Bad police. But the boy, the man was a bad man, too, you know. But we never met that bad away on him, thing, you know. We can't talk to him about uh, next time about him. Bad police. 
So the man now called me at my house, you know, my house one, you know. About two o'clock one night, 1994. Them time they have some illegal cheese, you know, I go around in a Jamaica, you know. You understand? So when him when him called me, him dead now, you know, my brother named Kirk my father sent me here. The man called me, I answer my phone and the man said, why Porter? Um, I have some information and everything. I work here and make a bag of money, you know. And I said, oh. I said, yeah, man, I know she bought a chocolate of cheese, you know, and custom goods. And you understand? I said, so, I said, but we don't work a custom. So, we are going to do I said, no, man, we are going to take it. I said, you mean take it? I said, yeah, one, well, so you don't want to make some money. I said, no, man. I said, Virgin, they don't know me already and anything, man. You know, I talk all the while in IV and everything. I said, I'm not going to put you in a police TV. You understand? And the man I said, why am I not even remember in the car? You understand? Anyway, I give, me, me give him the number of the next man to work on the team and everything. I know the next man with me. So I give him the number of the police where I know the thief and the other man with the team. You know. And uh, I hang up my phone. Come and work the, the man in the house. Yeah, I tell you, you know, man. Kirk, the other man, the other man, I tell you. Please smile upon the man them face, you know. Yes, sir, police so the other man said to me, and the... <laughs> Huh? Yes, sir. Police are thief cheese. <laughs> yeah, man. Chocolate, chocolate are cheese. Yeah, they are but, chocolate. Hey, but guess what? Yeah, and guess what? After Kirk Palmer with the cheese and them thing, the man buy a yellow BMW. I only for money making up from thief in the cheese, you know. Anyway, you know, that, that was one incident of them thing there. And they saw so, so many incidents with police because. The, 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 the thing, you know, the man trying the police force, you know, if you're a bad police, you have a thief. So all of, all of the bad police, them, police know so them a thief. That's all in about some. So I can't tell you right now, two police when I know are Jamaica, but I can't tell you, and a thief. When I work with, and I know them character and credibility. You have a brother with an unspear right now, when you M4 with Brave, fearless police officer. The man is a thief. I used to work with him at Clarendon as young police and him thing. You can't know when a man is a thief and you're a young police. And the man is not a thief. He tells you straight at his is, you know. Only for police might not like him and him thing. Because you know. a man, you know, will lock up all police and send them to prison. You, know. you understand? He's not a player. Good police. You have a next one here, Ruben Gunter. He come from Portland. And I tell us, I want him most. Honest police, me ever worked in my life. In, my, in Jamaica, in my first police, he get Africa, Ruben Gunter. Him honest tell him. Some, some police say him fool. Wanna fool the man fooling him. Honest. Him grow with good traits for a country man. I most say country police, my my teeth in a police force. You know? And I kinstone on them. You know? Most say kinstone on them honest people them. Honest police, the police them born and go in a ghetto a police. In a police force come from the ghetto them at Jamaica. A good police them, honest. A police them come from rural Jamaica, they might eat in a police force. Big time. It seemed like, I don't know, it seemed like the people in my country because them go impoverished and them, you know, from dirt floor and all them things. So when them join the police force, them see it as a way for make money. You understand? And after a while, they become real corrupt. You understand? Like I'll leave a cowboy and them guy there. But the reason why I leave the police force, you know, I was literally, I was literally forced out because to protect my life, you know. And I am going to give you an incident and all Jamaican people mindset. Remind me, born and grew at Jonestown. You know, Willie I got from your little boy. You know, General Starkey. You know, George Brown, our man. You know, um, Spurline. Spurline and my mother got school together. You understand? Spurline come from a place named Patriot Road. My mother, two of them, you know, Spurline is a Connecticut now and everything. Spurline, they charged um, in a 1982 for killer police, you know. He never did, he wasn't present when the police did it, but he was he he was a part of the conspiracy with Terry Gillett's son 
that I'm a member of parliament from St. Mary. And the reason is one of, one of my family who were police, why I'm never dead. Why they never killed them in a car, a PH3 one. Um, Spurline. In the church murder and a quickest trial still doing a car. Spurline saying you know, back then, you know. Um, yeah, PMP, you know, it's hard for you to go to prison and everything in Jamaica. You know. Half an hour, the juror, um, him, he, he was acquitted, him, he, uh, he and he and Terry Gillett's son. You know. So there's there's endless amount of history and everything with me growing up in a Jamaica. So the reason why I had to leave why why I leave the police force in Oh yes, sir. too much so corruption. Really have... Too much too much corruption yes. force out there. Alright. And let me tell you this. You see police force, the police force now have no use of honest police. Just remember when I just tell you. The pol when we say honest police, we have to have police with a thief. You understand? If you're a thief, you can you're not you are you are not going up there. You understand? So Only thief in police them go up right up. Cause them compromise. So people like the pe them people have secret to them and vice versa. You see good police were honest and work and them thing there. He's not going up there. Because he's not do all into anyone. Like the brother me I tell you about when he and Ruben Gunter. Gunter should at least be a senior superintendent of police. The way the man honest. M for the should have been even, even as assistant commissioner of police. You understand? So I'll tell you now, so the reason why I leave the police force now. Why may I tell you? Um something did happen on them thing there. With you know, with uh, the police them. Man them something this one witness, you know, man them um man them police, you know. I was there, you know. Man dead. And then we realized, you know, say so I robbed the police them, I robbed the man, I robbed them dead man, you know. You understand? And I said, no, I said, boy. The man them tell me, say, boy, I mean you get my own and them thing. Yeah. So I tell him, say, no, I don't want none of it and them thing. Yeah. And I say, I want to keep it and them thing. Yeah. So me remind a man, say, I don't stole my barn and grow. I say, everybody know my father and them thing. Yeah. You understand? Me can't thief. Me never raise that way. You understand? So what, if you what, do that, me can't. So what, what, what go on? Um, the, the, the man them licked down someone. And, yeah man, is that, yeah. And then I rob, I, then I rob the virgin. Yeah man, is I rob the man, the man them. I mean, I tell you this, the, the, the first time the, the man them, the police them rob, rob. I tell you, drugs. Me never see so much money in my life. I tell you, me never see. I first in my life, me never, me never work a bank. Me never see so much money in my life as police. And the man them, them take the money and all of them thing there and. You understand? I mean, tell the man them say, the man them say me get my own and them thing me and drugs. I tell him say no, me no want none. So me are the only man. It was three of the three of us who uh, was there when everything happened. And me are the only man who said me no want none. So I threw it away. Then it end up become four. And I tell the man them say me no want none. The man them try if he convince me, if involve me, if say yeah, me come on pan the scene and you know me have to fire me gun and you understand for. To carburet the man, them thing. I say, no, I'm mean, not tell me, say, based on what I have seen, I say, if me, I say, we can't do that. I have to write the truth about that. I say, I don't have a problem for dirty boy, they don't anything, but I don't support no police with no robbery. I don't like thief in police because if you don't do that, I say, I have family and friends and them thing, you know, the same thing you know, we do with them, man. You understand what I'm saying? We can't do that. So right then and there, you know, boy, I become enemy number one to the man. And the man, them to me, I say, boy, I cannot be trusted. So, anyway, you know, I see him time you now. So, one, so how oh, um, oh, 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 long, oh, long you did in the force? Um, before, I spent 17 before. years, three months, three weeks and three days. See, and, 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 yeah. and, 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 and you're that 17... Joe, that's 17 years there. You, mm. you, 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 you. Smash that subscribe and see you on the next video.
smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess start the mindset.